Welcome back to So Creative. This is Sarah. I'm here to share another tutorial with you. Um, I'm going to show you how to make these uh, trifold flip up journal spots using a botanical or floral piece of uh, book page. Now, you don't have to use floral, you can use any book page you want, you can use any piece of paper you want. So these are the book pages that I use. They're kind of like have a glossy film over them or a glossiness to them. And they're okay to put like in a journal like this. You could gesso over the back of the writing. But I wanted to come up with a different way of using them. And I'm going to show you how... You can use them in a journal and still be uh, efficient in it because that's what a journal is all about. You want it to be decorative, but you want it to be functional as well. At least that's how I look at a journal. I want it to be as functional and uh, for my needs that I can, that I would want. So, these are some of the examples that I made. Um, I put a tab at the bottom here. I put a Tracy Fox label up there. And then I took a, I made an altered paper clip. And I took one of the definition labels. And I made that the alternate paper clip. So when you put it on there, it holds it down, but then it's it's part of the design. I think it looks really cute. Hold it up here. My lighting is not very well today. Um, I apologize. So then you flip it up, and then this becomes your journaling spot because I put a piece of vellum on there. And you can draw right over top of the book page. And I could also put a couple pieces back here. And you could journal over top of those as well. I might do that. Um, I didn't think about that until right before I started filming. I was looking at them. I'm like, oh, I could put some back there too. So maybe we'll experiment with that. Uh, when we make one together today. So what you use is. This is a. I'll show you. I have one that's. Uh, I haven't taken apart yet. So this is a window. This is a wallet insert that you would hold your credit cards or photos in a wallet. So this one has 12 in it. I got two of them on Amazon for five bucks. I didn't think that was bad. I do find them a lot at thrift stores. So you don't have to spend, you know, five bucks. You're getting 24 of these little sleeves. I, that's the best deal that I could find. And it was on Prime, so it come in a couple days. <laughs> so that was a plus. And these ones are the vertical ones, but you can get... Or these ones are the horizontal, and you can get the vertical ones. But I just compromised with these ones, and I made them either way I wanted. And I'll show you how I did that. So these are some of the examples that I made. They all fold out and they look really cute. So these ones are the vertical ones and then I made two of the horizontal ones. So we'll set those aside. And I already got things prepped up. At least I think I have. And so your my book page I'll measure the book page that I have. I cut it down, but I'll measure if I have my ruler handy. 
Okay. So these are just shy of seven. So they're six and seven eighths. And eight and three quarter or eight and three eighths. Or nine and three eighths. Oh my goodness. So they're nine and three eighths by six and seven eighths, but that doesn't matter. Um the length as far as the length go, that's what what matters. So it'd be almost nine and a half. And I didn't cut the the length, I just cut the width, and I cut them to two and five eighths. So the reason why I did that is because I gave it some wiggle room on either side. Oh, that's not for the horizontal, but this is for the vertical. So the width of these of this is two and three fourths. So I cut this to be two and three eighths. So it's like an eighth and an inch wiggle room. And you get a little bit more because I did cut off the top of this and start to make it so it could be vertical. So we're gonna get the cutter and I just cut an eighth of an inch. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I cut these down to three and three eighths. And then that just opens it up at the top, and I just slid the paper into it. And then the top, I just cut, or the side here, just to even it up when you cut it off of all the bum being together, I just cut an eighth of an inch off of that. And the piece of vellum that we need is two and a half by the eight and a half, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So that's the piece of vellum that we need. And I already inked around it. I inked around the book page. But now we're going to fold this into three. And all I do is eyeball it. I just take it and I go like this. And I just fold it. And that's how I find my thirds. It's not exactly thirds. I mean, it's a little bit on each side. And then we'll go ahead. I'm just using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And then we'll just ink the creases here. Okay. 
So then we'll take our vellum piece. And what I did is I just ripped the top part and the bottom part. I just didn't like how it, because it don't go over the whole page. So I just wanted it to go over the botanical part, basically. And it gives it just a little bit on each side. So you just want to make sure you try to even it up on, on both sides. What I do is I take art glue and I go on either side of the crease here where it folds up. Put a little bit of glue there and then I take my vellum piece and I go the whole way around the outside and you lift it up and I'm just doing the botanical part so I'm going to go above those florals, or fl words. I can't find my words today. Okay. And then you just smooth it up. And art glitter glue will dry clear. And you might have some little bumps and ridges with the glue, but you just want to make sure it's smoothed out. And I just found that that's the best way to glue that. So then we were thinking about when this is in the pocket. So I just think that lays a little bit better, a way better than just straight across with a line. Okay, so we're going to make the paper clip now, but we can make this into a journal spot too. So I think what I'm going to do is get another piece of this vellum here. And this one I have torn with my tear roller, so we'll just see how much we need. We put that one there. And then we'll just go around the edges. Lay this one down. Now the writing's going to be upside down, but it doesn't matter because we're just using it as a journal spot. And it just gives it some more character. Move that all the way. And I just went around the edges on these. And there you go. We got two extra spots done. So you have the whole journal space here. 
And then you can also just flip it down and journal right there. So that's that's neat. One other thing we're gonna do is I did this on the vertical or the horizontal ones and I just put some washi tape on this side. So I think I'm gonna do that. It just helps reinforce the folds. And I'm just using this washi tape. This is the botanical uh, washi tape from Bo Bunny's Botanical Collection. I wanted to get it when it first came out, and I didn't. And I changed my mind on it, and then when... That's like a double one. There's like double the tape here. Oh my world. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't get it and then I waited and waited and waited, and then now you can't really find it anywhere. But I did get the 6x8 version, and I just figured, well, I'll work with that. It's better than, it's better than nothing. So, I got the tape, and then a couple of the 6x8 passed, and then I got, oops, I wanted to put some glue down. Well, I guess it's going to work because it looks like it's peeling up the paper. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on this one. Because I did on the other one, just to make sure it's down and secure. Yeah, so I got the, uh, and then I got some of the ephemera and the brads. So I'm really, I really like the collection. I think it's really pretty. So I'm excited to be able to work with it. We'll see what we get. We can come up with on it. But this just seemed to fit this project. So this is the washi tape that I used for it. And I didn't need anything really wide. Okay, so then that's how that looks. And you could put a journal spot back there too. Maybe we'll do something different and make one with this painter's paper. Or not. That's just my look when I use the turtle roller. It doesn't always go the way you want it to. Oh well, we'll just use it. It's at the very bottom and it'll be tucked up underneath. Anyway, it's not like you're going to see it all the time. It'll be hidden, a little secret hiding spot. You can always put... Hey. A 
a butterfly. That one ain't gonna work. Yeah, we could always decorate that with something else. There we go. Just put a little butterfly there. I usually don't glue them all the way down, but this is going to be in the back, so. Yeah, so that's cute. Then, let's fold this up to where it's going to be. Sorry, I keep coming off the camera. I just have a really bad habit of bringing it t towards me. That's just how I craft. I craft really close. I'm a lap crafter, so I craft. <laughs> I craft everything on my lap. <sighs> I, I, it's hard to break. I've always done it. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put the tab on. Oh, let me first, let me think where we want to put the alder paper clip. So what we're going to do is we'll put, decide where we're going to put it. Be right here. Yeah, I'll put it right there. So we're going to take the circle punch, this is just a one inch circle, and I'm going to slide it up underneath there, I'm going to glue all over it. To be careful because I'm on top of the project. And then I'm going to slide this over top of it. And then I'm going to try to slide that back off. And then we're going to take, try to smooth that down. Oh. 
on top of that paper clip. I'm going to have some glue come out, especially if you use this a lot. Okay, so we got our paper clip done, and then slide that on. You just got to be careful because it wants to, until it's really on there, it wants to go against that plastic pocket. I think we're going to slide it down a little bit. Because well, the plastic pocket isn't on there yet, but when we do have the plastic pocket on there, gotta watch. Okay, so then we're gonna put the tab up here. And you know what? I'm gonna put slide this down. I'm gonna put this label right here. And I think I might do the tab on the side. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We got label there. Bring this down just a little bit. And then we're going to put the tab right here. Oh, maybe I could put the tab over top of the label. I think I'm going to. I normally wouldn't do that, but I don't really care to cover up any more of that floral than it. There needs to be. I don't necessarily care for it like that, but it turned out cute. What do you think? I really don't like that label like Should I just put it on the side? I know I should have just did that. So, oh well. It's okay. So then we'll take our outer paper clip off just so we can get it in the pocket. And just get slid down in there. 
and then we'll put our paper clip on there. And I usually have the pocket on there so the width of the paper clip will go on there better. So what do you guys think? I really like how it turned out. I might put another label on there. There we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, I probably should just put the tab over there and been done with it, but I'm a little bit happier with that. I normally wouldn't put that probably that many labels on, but oh well. Okay, so there's that one. Then we're gonna make this one and this one I did horizontal so this one we are gonna fold in half and then we're gonna fold in the fours or fold in half again and this one is Three and three eighths, so it's the it's the line before the three and a half mark. So then we're gonna ink this up. Okay, so then the piece of vellum, I already tore the top and the bottom, but we'll measure this to see how, how wide I made it. It's two and three eighths, so it'll go down the middle here. So you got about a quarter of an inch on both sides. So on this one, I did the same thing. I just, I didn't go the whole way to the end, just where I thought it, the, the vellum was going to stop. And I went on either side of the fold. This just helps it to lay flat and not buckle in the middle. We're going to take our piece of vellum. Mm. Go around the edge.
smooth it out. I just want to try to get it to not bubble up. And then on the back here, I had another piece of vellum. I don't think I do. I don't have one handy. And this vellum I ordered on accident. I was making my ephemera folders a while ago and I ordered the wrong vellum. I wanted the thicker kind and this is like really flimsy. So I was like, well, I'll figure out something for it. Well, that's what I ended up doing is making to make journal spots out of it. Because it's really thin and don't add any extra weight. Cut this at two. Actually, I could probably go a little bit bigger. What is this? This is three and three A's. I think I'm going to go three and a quarter. Ink up the edges here. I'm just going to rip the top just a little bit and the bottom. And then I'm going to ink those back up a little bit. And then we'll we fold these ones again first. And we will put ink on these. And first, I'm going to put some of that washi tape on here. Before I place that vellum. Just to secure it. Man, you lose the washi and pretty fast. Okay, so then lift that off. We'll cut the tape.
and then we're gonna go a little bit closer on these ones because they're a little bit longer than the last time. Or not? Oh, gotta get this. <gasps> gotta ink it, or gotta glue the sides. I think it's too early in the morning this morning. I cannot find my words, and it's a Monday, so that doesn't probably make it any better. Smooth that out. Should have brought that up just a little bit more up here versus down here because you'd be able to journal up there way more than you would up at the bottom. But oh well, first time I done it this way, so with having the journal spot in the back too. Which, I guess that works out fine, because this is the front, and we're going to decorate that. So, it was probably a good thing that I left more at the bottom, then. Because we're going to bring it up, and then we're going to decorate this. So, what, what I do with this one is I take a washi sticker, which... I thought I had one out for this one. Oh, I do. Right here. Okay, so we're going to use this washi sticker. And it's starting to peel off for me, so that's awesome. And... Put it right... Here. And then probably going to put the tab at the bottom here. So then the paper clip can go here. Where are we going to put the label? Put the tab over here. Put the label down here. There we go. I think I might ink this one a little bit. And I think I'm going to tune down that white. A little bit more, because that's pretty bright. <sighs> if I hold something and it looks like I'm 
There's no other way of saying it. Flipping you off. I'm not. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. Just my fingers do not. These three fingers work. These two, they work when they want to. I have uh, weakness on my left hand side and it messes with my muscles and a lot of nerve damage due to my ona. So that's why, if you're wondering, not meaning it to be any anything, <laughs> but me holding down whatever I'm trying to hold down. Just to uh, inform you a little bit. <laughs> okay, that turned out cute. And then we'll get the paper clip on here. I'm going to put it in our sleeve, but we need to take about quarter of an inch off of this. So you take a quarter inch off the top of your sleeve. And not only when it's horizontal, so at the horizontal top. Not we're not cutting into the pocket this time. Just the last one we did. Because it's meant to go in horizontal. I hope I did that right. Okay. I did. So then we're going to slide it in our pocket. Because when we go to do this paper clip, you really want to keep it. It'll. It'll go on and off your project a lot better and a lot easier if you have it on your pocket or in your pocket. Because it'll be the width that it's going to be and it'll be used to it, per se. Leave this side up. So I'm going to slide it on there underneath. And then we're going to glue that. Put our label over top. Slide it off. There might be an easier way of doing that. I just find that being my easy way. You really want to make sure the front of that circle is down. Because that's what's going to come in contact with the front of that, your project. And that's what we'll lift up first, if anything. There we go. I might ink up that a little bit more. It's not necessary, but I feel better. <laughs> okay. So then... Slide that over the top to hold it down. And then there's this one. If you wanted to, 
you could probably so just to decorate it a little bit more take this small butterfly bend it a little bit Good. Put here at the corner, and we could add a little bling to the middle. And there we go. Hey, what do you think? I think that looks really cute. Just decorate that little edge there. I need to ink the bottom part of that tab a little bit. So yeah, that's that one. And then this is this one. So these are the two that you can make, uh, the vertical one or the horizontal one, and I think they turned out super cute. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back to share another video with you guys, but until then, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you when I see ya. Later. Mm -hmm.